Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Uh, today's project is going to be taking an uh, image file, a JPEG that I got off the internet, and we're going to convert it into a scalable vector graphic, and we're going to do that in some open source software called Inkscape, um, and we're going to then import it into another open source software called K40 Whisper. So instead of cutting it on a CNC router like we've done that before, we're going to actually um, engrave a picture doing a raster cut on a piece of, of wood like this. And this is just, uh, you can get these at like Hobby Lobby. Uh, this is 66 millimeters by um, about 136 and 3 millimeters thick. Now 3 millimeters, you know, just about an eighth of an inch, is really good size for going around here and cutting. Uh, you can do a quarter inch, but uh, for what we're doing, this is going to work just fine. Uh, I just want a uh, cautionary note here on the K40 Whisper software. If you're already using it, then, then it's no problem. But if you've just got your laser, it, make sure that uh, most of them are compatible with K40 software, but some have boards that are not. So just make sure before you go through all the trouble of doing this, that your laser will actually shake hands with the... Uh, K40 Whisper software. So uh, that being said, let's let's get started. So today we're going to take uh, an image and we're going to open it up in uh, our Inkscape software, which is open source software, and uh, we're going to convert it into a scalable vector graphic so we can do some um, a raster image in using the K40 Whisper software for our um, 40 watt CO2 laser. So we'll open up Inkscape here. And we're going to import an image, and we want to make sure that we're in millimeters. And then I always click this lock. That way, when we raise our height or width, it'll stay proportional. So let's bring in that image, file, import. And there's the image I pulled up. Pull one up here of uh, Rosalind Franklin. And uh, it's embedded. And you can leave these settings just as they are, or if they're not like that, just put them to that. I'll click OK. And you can see it's selected. We're going to bring that into this corner here. And the reason we bring it into that corner, that would be our XY0. And um, that's where we want to be when we go into the K40 Whisper. So it's important to get this position correctly. So now I want my height of that to be 60 millimeters. So I type in 60 and you can see uh, that the width changed uh, too to keep it proportional. Also, being as it's selected, I want my X and my Y to both be at zero. So we'll change that. There, now it's, it's positioned just where it should be. Also, what I want to do is resize that. You see this extra page there? We can't have that, so we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Document Properties. Just drag that back over there. We want to make sure we're in millimeters. And Resize Page. You'll click that once, and then you'll see Resize Page to Drawing or Selection. So this is our size that we want it to be, and we're going to resize that, and you'll see these values change. There we go. Now we can just close that out. Now with the K40 Whisper software, using that with uh, Inkscape, K40 Whisper recognizes uh, three different colors. It's uh, red, blue, and black. So on a black or a grayscale, it will come along and do what we call a, a raster cut, and it'll just scan back and forth here, and it'll give us that image. But I want to cut all the way around the outside of this. I want a nice border, so I'm gonna make a border for that. So we'll take this rectangle, and I'll cover that up, and then I'll hit Escape, then I'm going to select that. Now you can see it's not transparent, so I got to go up to um, Object, Fill and Stroke. And I want to take this fill off of here. Now I can see through it. 
Now I want the stroke paint, I gotta pick my color because that is what uh, determines what the uh, K40 Whisper software will do. So I'll click that and I want red because I wanna come along the outside. If I pick blue, it would just vector engrave it and give a, a border, but it wouldn't cut it. And the black would just do the raster. So let's take our red slider and we're gonna take that all the way up to 255. But now I need to have a thickness for this line. So I'm gonna to go to stroke style and I'm gonna click on that. And I want that to be a half a millimeter. So I'm gonna go 0.5. And now I have a thickness for that. So those are the settings that I want. I'm gonna close that. And when I click that, you can see that that went uh, solid. So let's hit our plus key. And that uh, allows us to zoom in there. And that's about perfect. That's just what I want. Now, if I wanted to move this, I could click this uh, red border and I could pull it down or up um, and then click off of it. So that, I believe, is just the way I want it. So now um, we need to save that as an SVG file, which stands for uh, Scalable Vector Graphic. And we're going to save as. And we'll just call this uh, RF for Rosalind Franklin, and we're going to save that. I'll shrink that down. Now let's order, uh, open up our K40 Whisper software, and I will have links to uh, and downloads for the Inkscape. Uh, you'll find you use that quite a bit if you don't already have it, and the K40 Whisper software. Now on this K40 Whisper software, uh, there's some good videos on how to download that. With your uh, CO2 laser, you probably got a, um, a USB that helps you operate it, and it's got to be plugged in. Um, and you, you must have the right board in your CO2 laser. Most of them run K40 just fine, but you, before you go through a lot of work, just double check and make sure that you're compatible with this software. I would hate for you to go through all the trouble and find out that uh, it won't work. So um, that being said, let's open up the K40 Whisper software and let's bring in our image. And we'll go to pictures here. And it should come in this corner right here if everything's right. And there it is. It's, it's just perfect. So we're going to go to settings. And we're going to go to raster settings because we're going to scan this. And you can see the different, uh, the raster engrave, that's black. Vector engrave, which would just cut or uh, just engrave that. Um, that's blue and vector cut is 10. And you can see the different speeds that would reflect that. So we'll go to raster settings. And these are the default settings and they work just fine. Uh, if you didn't have enough contrast on here, you could adjust this black slope up a little bit to get a little more contrast with it or this, but uh, I have found that these work pretty doggone good. You do want to make sure uh, on this, um, half tone dither that you have that click. You want that checked. Uh, and you can see why we need to uncheck it. So everything looks fine there. So we'll just close that. And then our next step is going to be uh, positioning it and setting our power settings and for our, our laser cut. So the next thing we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna initialize the laser cutter. You can hear that going. And then I want to unlock the rail. And once I unlock the rail, now I can position that uh, to find my X, Y, zero. Come over here to the laser and uh, we're going to set this down uh, to about 10%. And then you can see this is the laser, uh, this is the laser test switch right here. Now I put a piece of our material in there and you can see that by unlocking that rail I can position this and I want to try and get this make a little dot so I can see where my XY0 is. I'll hit my laser test switch. I see I'm just on the corner. I need to come over just a hair and make 
maybe up a little bit. I think that's just perfect right there. So now we're going to go over to our um, K40 software and uh, initialize the raster cutting. So we're going to come and do our raster engraving. And I'm going to speed this up a bit. We're going to do about 150 um, millimeters a second on that. And then when we go to do our vector cut, uh, we'll increase our power. Let's take that down to oh, maybe 7 millimeters a second. So we've already positioned that and found our X, Y, zero. So let's hit uh, our raster engrave. So now we've completed um, our raster engraving. That all looks good. Now it's time to come down here and do our vector cut. Again, we have that's going to take that highlight in red and it's going to cut at um, seven millimeters uh, per second. So okay, now it's doing the um, cutting around the outside and we'll see if we've got enough power there. If not, we'll have to we can do it again for a second cut and up the power. Okay, let's have a look. And I can definitely go deeper with that. So we're gonna take another cut on that. Let's uh, increase that power on that vector cut. And we'll take that uh, up to, let's say 14%. And then I'm gonna uh, hit that vector cut again on the K40 Whisper. These settings are something you just you'll have to kind of play with. Um, you can definitely see why we have the uh, exhaust fan hooked up. It'd be pretty smoky in here if we didn't. Okay, that looks uh, that looks pretty good. Oh yeah, come right out of there. So you can see it uh, it turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So that's all there is to it. Well, that's all I got for today. Um, pretty happy with the results. It it turned out uh, just fine, I think. And uh, if you ever got any questions on it. Uh, or comments, just put them in the, the section below. And again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I, I do appreciate it.